What's up guys? It's Kelly and today I'm doing something a little bit different from the usual as you can probably tell from my setup. So it's been a while since I've done just like, I don't know, like a low-key goofing off kind of video and I don't know, I kind of need this right now. Like I just need to have fun and do something a little silly. So I thought I would do a little fun challenge. It's like back to school season slash people are going back to their offices and I decided to challenge myself to do nail art using only office supplies. And even though this is a goofy premise, I am gonna be taking this seriously. So I'm gonna actually try to achieve cool nail art looks. So yeah, I thought we'd have some fun and just kinda, you know, have a low key day. So I really wanted to make this a challenge. So I set some rules for myself. So I'm gonna go over those really quick. Rule number one, I am only allowed to use school supplies or office supplies. I am not using any other nail polishes. I'm not using any nail art tools. And I'm also not gonna be using nail polish remover or rubbing alcohol in my actual nail art. But I am gonna be using base and top coat, base coat because I always like to protect my nails. It's very important to me. And top coat because I wanna see if I can actually make it look like a real manicure. So this this was partly inspired by me as a kid. I used to always, I don't know if anybody else did this, I'm sure a lot of people did, but I used to always color in my nail with my pencil so that it would look like a like a chrome nail. And I always thought that was so cool, but I was curious to see if that would actually stand with top coat, like look like an actual manicure. So I thought I'd try that, but I also thought I could just try some other supplies as well. So let me show you guys the tools that I got. So I have some office supplies here. Uh, no guarantees that I'm gonna be using all of them, but I wanted to give myself some options. Nothing totally crazy. I've got Got some colorful Sharpies. I actually don't have a black Sharpie. It might have come in handy at some point. I have a gel pen. This is just the pen that I use in my planner. A number two pencil. And then I have two different types of whiteout. So I've got the, the kind that comes in the little bottle like this. And apparently they don't make the kind with the brush anymore. They just make it with this little foam applicator, which I think is gonna make it harder. But also, you know, in my office, we have this like manila envelope colored whiteout, but I could not find that anywhere. I thought that would be a really cute base for nail art, but no, we're just using white whiteout right now. And then I also have this pen version. Actually, I have a feeling this will be more useful than the other. And then the last thing I have is some scotch tape because that is of course an office slash school supply. And then I do have my base and top coat that I'm going to be using. I'm using the Cuccio base coat and the Cirque top coat. Just because that is the closest base and top coat to me. So that's what I'm gonna be using. Part of the reason why I wanted to do this video is because I did have a nail break. So my nails are quite short right now. So I didn't wanna do any like serious videos because I don't know. I have standards for my nails. Oh, and I'm not doing this over my regular black background just because I didn't want to mess it up with whiteout. So I am using the Moyu London silicone mat. So if anybody wants that, it's actually a pretty nice mat. I'm a fan. So I'm gonna show you guys my nails. Here they are in all their short glory. So I have a few different ideas. We're gonna do a couple of different nail art looks. I don't know, maybe we could do three or four because I have a feeling they're gonna be relatively quick. And I also, I, I haven't practiced any of these, which is another thing, that's something I normally do. Oh, I forgot to mention, I just looked in the viewfinder and realized my hair is like a crazy different color and I have not acknowledged that. That is a whole situation that I'm vlogging about. So I'm gonna put my vlog channel linked up in the cards so you guys can watch that if you're curious about how I became this peach and swamp green situation. So yeah, but anyway, we're not gonna acknowledge that in this video. We're just gonna go ahead and do some nail art. So here are my nails. I was thinking I could start off with something simple. So really quick, I'm gonna just just base coat my nails and then once I do that we'll be ready to party and I'm also I'm not at the best angle for this right now because I wanted to be able to show my face while also showing the nails just so you can see the agony in my face as I struggle through this. So are you supposed to shake this? Yes, shake well before use. I haven't used like a non-tape whiteout in so long besides that manila folder whiteout that I use at work sometimes. This seems a lot making very liquidy noises. I feel like this is a lot more liquidy than I remember it being. Or maybe the one at my office is really, really old. But anyway, I wanted to start off with something easy. I thought I would do some French tips because that's an easy way to get started. I'm also not gonna be doing my thumb because that's not on camera. So I don't know, let's try a freehand one and just see how that goes really quick. Might be terrible, but also this applicator might be really good. I've been drinking a lot of caffeine lately. So I feel like I need 
to not do that because I've been shakier than usual with my nail art. Actually, I'm not gonna lie, this is turning out pretty good. Some people have noticed that I've been shakier than usual. I am just unmotivated working from home right now. So as you can tell by the fact that I'm doing a video on uh, painting my nails with office supplies, this is the extent of my office journey. Actually, okay, I'm not gonna lie, this is turning out kind of good. So this is the nail, this middle nail is the one that I had my break on. As you can probably tell by the fact that it's like really, really short. So I might have to fake a little bit bigger of a space for this. You can see this was the edge. I was peeling some potatoes and I decided to just go ahead and peel my nail as well. <laughs> Didn't do it on purpose. But it did happen. This isn't terrible. It's a little shaky. But yeah, like I was saying, nothing is wrong with me. I'm just drinking caffeine in the mornings now because I'm working from home and I feel like I just need a little boost in the mornings right now just to get me through the day. Okay, that one did not turn out as good. That's not amazing. Maybe I can fix it. Should I even try? I don't know. You know what? We're just gonna try to fix it because I, I need my first one to be good. Uh oh. Okay, I, I ke it keeps getting longer and longer. This is not the easiest tool to work with, but you know what? It's also not the worst tool. <laughs> okay, this nail was actually just doomed to be bad, I think, because it's my broken nail and I'm I'm very angry with it. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna be honest. We started off really good and then it just started going really downhill and now this is looking awful. If I were in this situation, which I often am when it comes to French manicures, I would be using a little bit of acetone and a cleanup brush just to clean that area up. I actually have a video on that. So if anybody wants a serious video on how to do a French manicure, I'll link it up in the cards. But yeah, this is not going that well. Maybe we can save it with the pinky. But you know what? This does, this This manicure doesn't actually count. This is just our practice manicure. We wanted to see the quality of the whiteout. We, we wanted to see the quality of how it would go. And this is how it went. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I, I missed a whole section. Oh, got it on my skin. And you know what? As it turns out, it's actually kind of hard to get white out off of your skin. I don't know that I get white out on my skin too often. Okay, that's not really coming off. Okay, so you know what? It was a practice run. I mean, I'll be honest, it's not my worst French manicure, but it's also not my best. This finger right here, this index finger, turned out fire. Like honestly, if I had done the whole manicure like that, and I was honestly expecting to, I, I think this would have actually really turned out good. But I am going to top coat it just so we can kind of observe it as if it were a real manicure. I can't do any cleanup because I am not allowing myself to use acetone. So this video is actually, I think, going to prove to a lot of people because a lot of you guys are like, oh my gosh, you're so good at painting. I could never do that. And I always tell you guys, it's the magic of cleanup. It's really not my skills. It's just my cleanup ability. <laughs> and I think you guys are going to learn that. We all make mistakes when we paint our nails with white out, right? Okay, so this is manicure number one. And my rating for this would be out of five stars, I would give this a solid three because I think the idea is there. And if I were in an office and I really needed some French tips, I could definitely get away with using whiteout I think but I would have to take a lot of breaks in between because as you can see I got worse as I went through the manicure but originally I think it's not bad like that first nail is really solid like this first nail I would give a five out of five the rest of the nails I would give a two out of five so let me take this off and we'll move on to the next one I will say though like if you see this from a distance and I don't know if my lights are too bright for you to even see this but if you just saw this manicure from a distance you would definitely not think twice about it like this this doesn't necessarily, I mean, it's sloppy, but it does not look like I used white out for it. Well, I mean, French chips kind of do look like white out anyway, so I don't know. I feel like this is kind of legit. So yeah, we're giving it three out of five. Okay, so first manicure, not so great. Confidence is down a little bit. I want to try something else simple before I move on to the crazy stuff because one, I need a little confidence boost that this is going to go well. And two, I feel like I owe it to my 14 year old self to actually fill in my nails with graphite and see what happens happens. So I already put base coat on. That might actually be the thing that ruins us. So let me see if that actually... Nope, it doesn't. This is going really well. I did manage to ruin the base coat on that nail, but it turns out that pencils actually do not go over base coat. So let me try. I actually have a, a pen too. This is a Signo Uniball, in case anybody needs the brand name. Signo Uniball. Oh, okay. So this one's working. We live in a world where we can't fill in our nails with graphite. You can fill them in with gel pens. I probably could have planned some nail art with this, now that I think about it. This this is, will actually take me forever. So we're just gonna do this as an accent nail. Oh, this writes so smooth. 
I should have known because this is so smooth when I write in my planner. Well, I kind of regret this idea already because this is taking a lot of time just for this one nail. I don't know, let's try some triangles or something. Oh, this, this really writes so smooth in case anybody wants to actually work on real nail art with this. I actually have seen people use gel pens for nail art before, so this isn't like a totally unique idea. It's still pretty cool to know that it actually works. Cause you know, sometimes you watch those videos. I hope you guys aren't feeling that way about my videos, but sometimes I watch videos and I'm like, that that can't be real. <laughs> Some negative space triangles. I'm not really trying too hard here, I'm gonna be totally honest, because I feel like I shouldn't have done that middle nail. And also, imagine if this just stains. <laughs> okay, let's do some stars. Some like sloppy graffiti stars, you know? That, see, I feel like that nail is cool. And you could definitely, like, imagine doing this over like a grungy background. That would be so cool. I actually love that idea. <gasps> Should we try to do like a little skull and crossbones? Very, 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 very simple skull and crossbones because we all know, or I don't know, do we know? Now we know that Kelly is not a great artist. I don't know much about what skulls look like. <laughs> That's not a great skull. And then here are my crossbones. I actually, I used to have a, a coworker who would draw skulls and crossbones on his nails, but he did it with actual polish. Okay, see, okay, this is cool. <laughs> this is actually a cool manicure. I feel like, okay, aside from that one plain nail, should we do like an accent nail art design with the white out? Cause I feel like this is cool. This is like a little, a little punk rock. Skull and crossbones is actually pretty nice looking. Let me do like an accent skull and crossbones with this white out shake and squeeze. Do I have to take something off of this? Shake and squeeze. Nothing's coming out. I'm shaking and I'm squeezing. I'm shaking, I'm squeezing. Sometimes I think these things weren't built for lefties. Are you telling me that they didn't know that people were gonna be doing their nails with this white out pen? Ah, uh, <laughs> this might be a fail, but look, it like works. Okay, maybe it's not. It just doesn't wanna work on camera. There it is. It's like as soon as it touches the, the nail, it stops working. I'm gonna take off this middle nail. Oh, okay, good, good news. It doesn't stain. It kind of stained the part that didn't have base coat on it so if you guys are going to do this my original theory stands true which is that even if you are challenging yourself to only use office supplies you absolutely need to use base coat just put another coat of base coat on just so i could draw one more thing oh i think i smudged this one too but anyway you can see there's like this faint line right here from where i decided to just go past where my base coat was so let me let me fix this star because that was an important part of this manicure and i'm curious to see how these actually last one once I put top coat on, because obviously they do smudge off pretty quickly. Man, that skull is kind of cool. I'm gonna do another one on this finger. Oh, why did I just do that with the pen? Let's draw another really rudimentary skull. So I basically just drew a big circle. Don't worry, now that I've discovered that I can draw a skull on my nails, I'm gonna absolutely do a nail art tutorial for Halloween for this, and or any time in life, if you're just feeling like a little skull on the nails. And here's my crossbones. You know what would have been cool if I had done like white eyes with that pen? Maybe we should try it with the white out. Actually, do I want to ruin this? I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, so update. It's been a few minutes and it turns out that anytime you touch these gels, they start to wipe off. So you can see here on my pointer finger, I like touched it to see if it was dry and it just totally came off. So I have a feeling these are not going to like dry slash set on my nails. So I'm just going to go ahead and try the top coat. And I got to be honest, I don't have very high hopes for this right now. The nail art and like being able to do nail art with a gel pen is a five out of five because I did not know that you could really do that. Oh, it looks like I smudged this one too. <laughs> That's okay. But yeah, I have a feeling that after top coat, it's not going to be a five out of five for me anymore. <laughs> Look at that. Is this bleeding at all? Oh my gosh. It actually works and you can top coat it. Is this not life-changing information for you guys? Because this is life-changing information for me. And the fact that you can do it over base coat means you can do it over nail polish. Also, I, I noticed that my cuticles are getting worse and worse with each removal I'm doing here. That's just gonna keep happening throughout this video because I'm not moisturizing in between manicures. I'm sorry. This is a five out of five. The nail art that I did is not. Wait a second, are these shrinking? Why is this skull so much smaller? This skull is definitely smaller, right? I feel like everything shrunk a little bit. Did I just make that up or did everything just shrink a tiny bit on my nails? Because I swear the skull and crossbones was definitely bigger before I put top coat on it. Why is this so funny to me? That skull got smaller. Okay, well that's cool. You can actually shrink your designs by putting top coat on them. Oh my gosh, this is actually hilarious to me. My specific nail art on here, like I think my skull 
skull and crossbones is pretty cool, but I didn't fully fill it in, so I didn't do an amazing job. And then the stars and the triangles are just me goofing off. Those, like my nail art, I don't give a five out of five, but this nail art technique, five out of five for sure. I'm definitely gonna do this at some point in my life. We're gonna be using gel pens for nail art in the near future. Okay, so I took a short intermission to have a snack break. Now I'm feeling so invigorated. So I wanna try the French tips again. This time I'm gonna do something a little crazy. I'm not gonna use base coat and I am going to use tape. I wanna make this look good and I feel like it would have looked good if my lines were straight. So I'm just gonna go ahead and and apply some tape onto my nails, which I'm pretty sure I also have a video on doing manicures this way, but literally just taking scotch tape and putting it onto my nail. There's a little bit of black staining some of the edges of my nails from my gel pen adventures, and that's okay, because you know what? Artists get stained sometimes. <laughs> I'm sure Van Gogh got stains on his nails while he was working on his masterpiece. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that me and Van Gogh have a lot in common. We're both artists. <laughs> I've got all of my nails taped up, as you can see, looking pretty crazy. And I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna paint on my French tips. And they're gonna look good. I can tell, I can feel it in my bones. All right, I'm just gonna peel this one off. Doing it kind of off camera here. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> you know what? Not as good as I really anticipated it being. I don't know if I could say this is better or worse, but I mean, in all honesty, if I was allowing myself to use nail polish remover, this would work. Okay, this one worked, kind of. Yeah, there's just like a little bit, but like overall, I mean, this is a, this is a manicure that I would have already done. This could have been the same exact manicure, but with regular nail polish. I'm making a mess on my skin too, which is not ideal. But you know what? I gotta tell you, this is looking kind of fresh. I kind of just did a little speed run here. I want to move on to my next nailer. I'm not even gonna bother topping this because we already know what it would look like, but I will say, I mean, that's not terrible. If I could clean that up with just a little bit of acetone and a cleanup brush, that would just be a good manicure. The white out French tips is a good idea. I'm just gonna say that. I'm gonna change my rating to four stars. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna change my ring to five stars because I feel like if I had the opportunity to use acetone, this would be a fresh manicure and it would look so good. So I'm gonna give this five stars. So I'm just gonna move on and try to do a full nail with the whiteout as my base. And then I'm gonna use Sharpies over it. I was thinking tie-dye because tie-dye is very big right now. I'm going to attempt to do a base with the whiteout again. We're really going hard on the whiteout this time. But I feel like if you can't use nail polish as a base, then that's all I really have as an option. I don't know, this is gonna be, I feel like really hard. Darn it, it's not perfect. But you know what? It's actually, this is more than I really anticipated it working. This is another situation where I feel like if I had cleanup as an option, and I don't really know why I made that rule for myself because this would be much cooler if I could do really cool nail art, but if I had cleanup as an option, I feel like this is another situation. Oh no, I got it all over my skin on this side. Ugh. Ooh, this smells strong. I'm like sticking my face near it now. I gotta say, this is kind of a strong scent. I say as a person who paints my nails all the time. Okay, I'm, I'm getting worse at this. Why is it that the first nail always turns out decent and then the rest are just terrible? If you guys want to see a version of me using office supplies, but also in conjunction with nail art supplies, you can just let me know in the comments and I can totally do that. Oh, this smells so strong. Like I, my nose doesn't recognize the smell of nail polish anymore because I paint my nails so often, but I can really smell this. And I'll tell you, I'm not, I'm not too big of a fan of it. It smells like I'm losing brain cells. <gasps> oh my gosh, wait, is this bad for me to breathe in? This is what my nails look like, and it's really hard for me to not clean this up. But you know what, it's okay, we're gonna work through it. So I'm gonna just do my tie-dye, and then if it looks really cool, I might just clean it up at the end just so we can see what it looks like. Let's use these three colors. So I've got a pink, I've got like a aqua, and uh, I've got this highlighter laser lemon color. You know what, we'll start with that color actually. So I'm gonna actually do like little little swipes here as if we're doing tie-dye nail art, which we are doing actually. So I, I don't know why I would say it like that. You know what? This is not terrible. This kind of looks like my nail art when I do tie-dye nail art. I kind of dig these colors together too. I feel like this would be even cooler if I got some like rubbing alcohol. Am I gonna ruin these Sharpies by doing this? I see like little white bits on this. Oh my gosh, I actually love that. That looks so cute. Yeah, I'm noticing it's actually better in case anybody is also trying this at home. I noticed that it's better if you like tap it like almost like you're stippling instead of actually drawing the lines because drawing the lines will make it drag a little bit. This is another smell that I'm, I'm concerned about being in a room with. 
telling you if I stain my nails from this, I'm gonna be really mad. I would ask you guys if this were a live video, if you mind me cleaning up my skin, but it's not live. So I don't feel guilty about cleaning up my skin. So we're just gonna clean it up really quick. I'm gonna just use this little cleanup brush and we're just gonna clean up just the parts that like make my eyes hurt, you know? I did mess up right here. I got a little acetone on the tie-dye right here. It wasn't my proudest moment, but it happened. Let's put some top coat on it. Now I'm worried that the top coat's gonna totally ruin it. I'm gonna do this backwards so that I don't smudge it as I work. And, oh no, it's getting ruined. Okay, I'm trying to float the brush here so that it doesn't get, <gasps> wait, actually, this actually kinda, it's making it look more tie-dye, which is not the worst thing, actually. Yes, it looks sloppier, but it also looks like real washed tie-dye. I don't know, I can't decide if I love this or if I actually kind of hate it. But you know what, I'm gonna rate it. I'm gonna give it four out of five stars because it would be good for tie-dye nail art, but I don't think that this method would work for any other type of nail art because it would smudge it. So as you can see, everything is smudged super badly. I'm so concerned right now that this is gonna stain my nails. So far, nothing has stained my nails with the base coat on. So let's see. Okay, this didn't stain at all. It's actually looking pretty good. Oh, my cuticles where I got the white out are not looking great though. You know what? I feel like we've had a successful run. I wanted to do another design where I did little flat hours on my nails using this pen, but I don't think that that's gonna work. Maybe I should try it over no base coat and see, but I'm not gonna, I would have colored them in, but I'm not gonna color them in if I don't have base coat on. Let me moisturize my cuticles really quick because they're looking terrible. Okay, so I just moisturized my cuticles, they're still looking rough though. I don't know if it's these office supplies or what, but I'm gonna try to draw some flowers. I'm, I don't have high hopes for this. For some reason, it doesn't think that the surface of my nail deserves white out on it. Am I doing this wrong? Are you supposed to press down on it? Is that why? <gasps> I was not aware that you're supposed to press down on it. So, wow, I'm sure. A lot of you guys are gonna be making fun of me in the comments for that. Jeez, that did not do a great job for me. Okay, so I was gonna draw like big flowers. Now I'm worried. This isn't my best work. This is not as easy to control as I thought it was gonna be. That kind of looks like a butterfly. Maybe these aren't made for nail art. Could be wrong, but that's that's my hypothesis right now. They're not looking good, actually. Maybe I shouldn't show you much of them. So now that we have done this challenge, I can say that some office supplies are actually pretty good for nail art. I am actually curious, now that I've tried it, I'm curious to see how a gel pen would work in conjunction with nail polish and maybe even white out in conjunction with nail polish. I've used Sharpies before in nail art, so I knew that that was gonna like work, but overall pretty impressed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's not my usual like nail polish reviews, but hopefully you had a little bit of fun and maybe I inspired you to do your nails at the office or at school. <laughs> Just kidding. You should actually focus on work and school and stuff when you're there. I had a lot of fun. So if you guys want to see another video on this, maybe in conjunction with nail polish, I said conjunction way too many times in this video. I'm going to stop saying it. But if you want to see me use this stuff with nail polish, let me know in the comments. If you have any other goofy video ideas that you want to see, also let me know. I know a lot of people have been requesting another mixing nail polish video, so I'll probably do another one of those soon. But yeah, that's it for this video. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. All right, today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter Karen Madero. And Karen wants to know, would you ever consider posting more lifestyle slash fashion content? I'm fairly new to your channel and I love your vibe and aesthetic. So that's a great question. And my answer for that is I haven't really done much of that on this channel. I feel like I have a couple of videos that are just like me buying some random clothes. But in general, I usually post that type of content on my vlog channel. So I'll link that up here. It's just Kelly Mercer Vlogs. So that's that's like my more informal kind of content. That's like where I post me talking about books, me sharing hauls of nail polish, me just kind of going about my day and bringing you guys along with me. But I do occasionally show like products and clothing and stuff that I buy. But if you guys are interested in seeing fashion type of video on this channel, like a, a more produced video, you can always just let me know in the comments. I feel like that could potentially be cool, but I'm not sure. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let me know. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.